What's up, everybody? We at uh, welcome. Well, welcome to the gig log. We're at Carolina Country Wedding. I've been out here before. It was a while ago. I was out here. It was like 2019 or 2020. The nice part of knowing a venue ahead of time is that the ceremony is very far from the reception. So we're we're stopping right now to drop off the ceremony gear here, and then we'll continue on to the actual reception. Oh. Did we unload that way last time? Okay, so there's like a concrete sidewalk and we like rolled all the stuff through the sidewalk because otherwise it's gravel. See, it's good to remember things and take notes, which I don't think we were even, we have like a, a gig loadout, like a uh, gig we, we honestly need to use that more. Yeah, so again, it pays to remember the venue. There's a sidewalk that leads right up to the venue that's all concrete versus up there. It's like all gravel. And I remember me and I think it was Drake was with me. I couldn't remember. There's too many weddings in my head nowadays. Like when I first moved to North Carolina, like every one of them was like latched in the head. And then as soon as I get over like a hundred weddings in North Carolina, like I don't remember any of them now. I remember the faces of the couples. I can literally remember the faces of the couples that were at this wedding last time. Probably because I've seen that photo multiple times now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to roll everything down around and get set up. So, time lapse. All right, sorry, the camera battery died trying to load in, so I'm not sure if we got much, but we got the GoPro rolling now. GoPro's rolling out for time lapse. Um, you know I'm a big proponent of spreading out our gear. We are completely outside today. We do have a photo booth coming as well. This is kind of the whole ordeal. If you guys go check the gig logs, originally that was where I was at last time I was here. The inside is strictly for dinner only, so that's where the dinner's gonna take place. Then out here, this is basically the cocktail slash reception dancing portion of the night. So we'll move everyone out here later on to do that but this is the basically the whole dance floor area so that cocktail table will probably move eventually but we're gonna put movers on both sides of the dance floor they gave us a tent too which is nice we require to be undercover when we're outside but we're gonna put a speaker deep over there we're also gonna put a speaker over here so again we're spreading out our sound as much as possible probably angle that one to cover straight forward this way that one will be angled to more cover forward down this way as well but overall it's gonna be awesome I will be running the speakers in mono just because it's not gonna be a true left and right based on where I have the speakers placed they're too tall to fit underneath of the tent so that's how we're gonna spread it out and then we also are gonna put four tubes right there it's gonna be like the canvas we're gonna have four tubes right there we might also spread those out I'm not entirely sure yet we'll see Ugh. ceremony we, dragging it. we got the shack we got the ceremony shack Well, we're gonna party it up all night. We got a nice little set for you guys. Get up on the dance floor, let's have some good time.
scream for Kelly. Come on, let's go. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's been great partying with you. This is the last song of the night coming up. If you guys are standing, if you guys are still here, I need everybody on the dance floor for one last song on Ryan and Kelly's day. I also need Ryan. Ryan and Kelly, get up and down the middle. Get up in the middle, come on. And do another drink. Drink it if you can. Can you spend a little time? Time is slipping away. Away from us, so stay. We done, we done. Great night, great night. We got another one tomorrow. Hey, look now. Um, we probably just gonna carry it off this one to the next one because it didn't film much today. Um, but yeah, Carolina Country, congrats. Ryan, Kelly, show out's got another wedding today. I got another wedding tomorrow. Everybody else got a wedding. We got a massive production tomorrow. Hey, look. Massive. We going crazy all month. All season, really. This is literally the first weekend of October. We going stupid. We going stupid. But anyways, we're gonna break down. We'll use the GoPro to film a little time lapse and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Another wedding, very epic wedding. Good uh, morning. Day number two, trying to pack everything in the trailer for today's crazy production. I have two assistants and a filmer coming to this wedding today because it's it's a lot. Let's uh, let's go through what all we're gonna be packing up. So we already got Burfa in there. We already have the audio rack in there. We have the totems in there. I need to get the scrims. I washed those last night. Prepping the monogram, bringing the hedge wall, bringing the LD Icoa system, bringing the tubes, bringing the spots, 24 uplights today. Uh, four cold sparks, dancing on a cloud, custom LED sign, and I'm probably forgetting something else. But there's a lot today. And Drake's here. Howdy, howdy. I'm gonna work on loading all this up. What's up everyone, DJ Rick Webb checking in. We literally forgot to film any of the setup, but as you can see, we have a lot of uplights around the room and a pretty substantial production back here behind us. Um, and we'll go through all of that here in a second. But yeah, just wanna apologize that we did not film any of the setup, but I will take you guys on a little walkthrough of everything we did, and um, I'm gonna have Gabe do that filming for me. All right guys, let's take you guys on a quick little tour of this crazy production we got going on today. So first off, as you can see behind me, 32 up lights all around the room, all set, ready to go. It's going to be a very epic show-stopping lighting package. Talking with the couple, you know, working through the vision and trying to understand what they wanted. The biggest thing for the groom and the bride was the lighting. So they were they were actually here at this exact venue for a wedding about three weeks ago. And I think they, the DJ might have had like 12 up lights. They showed me some photos and also the room was too bright. So we made sure to dial in the lighting, get it perfectly the way they wanted it with lots of up lights to really dial in and that dusty rose theme that they're going for. Here on our dance floor, we have this giant monogram. It looks great in my opinion, I'm a perfectionist. Uh, we're shooting it from all the way up there on top of the stairs. We have basically an Epson Powerlight 2250U, I believe. It's on a gravity stand and we're shooting the monogram down. Shout out Projectogram. Projectogram did all of our monograms for us. Also on the dance floor, we have two cold sparks. So these are both lighting cold sparks and we are running batteries on them so we have no cables at all running behind them. And new product right here, this is the both lighting dancing on a cloud machine. This machine right here does a dancing on the cloud effect without the need for dry ice. So what it is, is basically you have a high powered fog machine. This is 4,000 watts and it's paired. It basically does water immersion. So it's gonna shoot the fog through water and then out these tubes and onto our dance floor. So that is gonna be our show stopping first dance package for this couple. It's gonna be pretty cool. And then moving back here, again, we still gotta get like candles lit and all kinds of crazy stuff. We'll come over here to our sound. We're rocking the LD Icoa system today. Icoa 15's up top, Icoa 18's on the bottom, and we will be running a Maui 5 Go in the back corner for a basically a backfill just to make sure everyone hears the announcements properly. We got a mix of lighting in here. We got the both lighting tubes right here, the 360 tubes. We got them on the both lighting stands. We got two on each side trying to create a little design with it. Down here we do have an ADJ haze machine and we have a Lasco, Lasco fan beside it. And basically this is going to help shoot that, fa that haze up into the air to really create some great atmosphere with our both lighting MH150 spots. And those are sitting on top of Global Trust totems. Now, if two cold sparks wasn't enough, we have two more. <laughs> so these ones are purposely here for our introduction. The couple really wanted to have them here for the introductions, but they also wanted them on the dance floor. And we just decided no one else had cold sparks out today. So we went ahead and brought four of them, two here that are permanently wired in the DMX. Those two are on battery and we'll run those with the remote. Other than that, all the uplights are the both lighting S4s running around the room. And I got a cool little touch point on that. We got the main rack here, of course, range 
S12s, S9. This guy right here, this is a new thing we're trying out. You guys might be familiar with the smaller, little tiny wireless DMX transmitter. This is the big boy. So, both lighting makes these bigger transmitters that are supposed to be way more high power. They have like three power settings. We got them on the max because a lot of times at our events when we're doing venues this long away, like we got up lights probably 70 feet away from us, maybe 80, 90, 100 feet away. This transmitter right here is gonna be more powerful so we can reduce the amount of dropout we're gonna have. So we're testing this out today, see if we can reduce dropout. We will keep you guys posted on that. All the lighting's running on sound switch and it is the sound switch pre-programmed file that we use at all of our events. And you guys can download it uh, on both lighting usa.com. Uh, Yamaha, uh, audio technical mics, that's, that's pretty much it. All of our planning through Vibo, that's all these forms we got right here, ready to rock and roll. This is, uh, I didn't preference already, we got an Arabic wedding today, so heavily gonna be playing a lot of Arabic music. Pretty excited, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. Let's go through it one more time. So, welcome to Prestonwood. I thought it was Presswood, it's Prestonwood. Prestonwood Country Club, we got Angie and Steven today. Um, make some noise, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, is this side of the room, I don't even know if I can do that. Is, is everyone ready to get this? Because there's, I know I'm like, I'm like, this side of the room ready. Is this side of the room ready? I don't think that's gonna work today. All right, direct your attention over to those doors. DJ, switch that track for me real quick. Help me welcome in Angie's parents. We have Haney and Teresi Shanuta. I gotta make sure that's correct. Shanuta, Shanuta, Shanuta. If I pull the mic away from my mouth, it, it just sounds right. <laughs> you're going 24 karat magic. Oh, no, 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 you're going, yeah, Yami. 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 Yamna. Yamna. All right, let's welcome in Katarina and Michael. Let's keep them vibe going. Keep this vibe going. Let's welcome in the maid of honor and the bride's sister, Sandy, accompanied by the bride's brother, Tony. All right, everyone. Everyone, everyone, I need you to get out of your seat. I need you to, like, put the feet to the ground. Um, and make some noise. How's it going? What's up, Rick? I'm Jose, the video guy. Welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Steven, and, or Angie and Steven Phillips. Yeah. I have to remember that one. You guys know what the power situation is here? Y'all just found some outlets, like, randomly? <laughs> yeah, you want, you just need some batteries to start charging, right? So, well, no, I just need to get that light oh. out so that we can have some. These walls suck. Welcome, welcome to the reception portion of this evening for Angie and
like a cup of coffee Like a rain on an old tin roof And your head fits right in mine like a knee That right there is case A plus as to why you need a venue to shut the air conditioning off before doing the dancing on the cloud, to which they told us they can't do. I will say if we had a dry ice machine, it probably would shoot it out further, but still, you can't accommodate for that. This dancing on the cloud machine does not have the push necessarily of a dry ice machine, but it does have the filling ability of a dry ice machine. So if you're gonna buy this machine, if you're gonna need this machine, you need to make sure they have the air conditioning off. The last four events we've done it with, we had the air conditioning off and looked absolutely beautiful. But when you got a venue that doesn't turn the air conditioning off and that big circulation, especially a room of this size, they can move some air. It's really hard for the machine to push through that. So we're gonna move on to uh, toast and dancing. Here we go. So while we are waiting on uh, basically dinner service, we've already ate. They still have a pass out main courses and we're waiting on that and then champagne and more. then eventually we'll do toast. I wanted to show you guys why it's so useful to have this back rack table or just having a table behind your setup. So let's look from the front first. Super clean setup. Look at it nice and clean. Looks simple, looks clean, awesome. DJ presentation. Then we come back here. This is where all the all the crud lives. I mean we got we got bang, we got waters, we got bags, we got more cameras, timelines, batteries, mics. Uh, just everything's back here. We got all the bags down here hidden behind it, but all of this is out of the way And this is this rack as you guys have seen before this goes on the front that goes on the back It stores all of our cables. We got all of our board here our mics as everything's built into this But this back rack allows us to give a really clean presentation Put the facade in front of it hide all the junk and yes a lot of you guys probably don't have the ability or the money to make yourself or buy a custom DJ booth like this, but I highly recommend you guys check out ProX makes a case table, and I'll put a picture up right now of what my guys use. All my other DJs use this setup, and it's basically a black ProX case table, and then they put their uh, their road case right on top of it, and it looks super clean. Some of them even set up a table behind them with a facade to hide all the junk and or they can hide it underneath the actual table in the podium, which is nice. But uh, that's just another way to create a nice clean setup and have a DJ presence of, at your events. Anyways, what you doing, Hannah? About to do some emails. <laughs> emails, okay, Hannah's working.
front. They're going to be doing a sparkler setting up out there. While you guys are being situated outside, they're actually going to be doing a private last dance. So if we can ask for everyone's cooperation to make your way out of the reception hall, make your way outside. Angie and Steven will meet you out there for the little sparkler send off to the amazing getaway car. Again, collect your things, make your way outside, so that way they can do their private last dance. We greatly appreciate everyone's cooperation and making their way. Bill loaded up. Peace out. Uh, comment, subscribe, squad in the comments, all that good stuff. Blah, we're late. We're tired. Blah, it's good. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> My employees. <laughs>